Hi, Internet viewers. Frank Rauscher again. Just want to go over a couple things. We did get all the body on both sides. I, we shaped this. We've, we've got the areas pretty much blocked out for each grouping of feathers that got to come in. We haven't done the tail, uh, not the tail. Yeah, we do have to do the tail, but the uh, the last grouping, we haven't done anything yet. And that's fine. Uh, I'm more concerned uh, in getting these in. And then what we're going to do on this video, we're going to go for the face. So I'm going to reinforce the dimensions we used before. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to, we're going to map out some more of the face so there's limitations so that you don't take too much out in one area and another. So uh, I will, um, what's the name, uh, keep you in a boundary area that will take it out in degrees. And, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. So let me bring the camera down and I'll uh, let you uh, see how I develop it. And I'm going to go over some of the dimensions we had uh, initially to establish the face. Okay, so bear with me a second. And right there. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that my camera is right on. And bear with me one second here. There we go. Okay. What I'm going to do is just reinforce some of the dimensions that we had originally. Uh, we had located the eye. There we go. I was looking for my pencil. We located the eyes, and then we have a uh, a horizontal line that goes right through the eyes, okay? And then we also have this center line coming down. So what I want to do now is from this line down, if you did it the way I said it before, I'm going to use millimeters. I'm saying 15 millimeters down is to where this goes around here. So from the center line down, I'm going to ask you to come down and just measure that again and put a dot right there. And that is 15 millimeters from here to here. And I'm going to ask you to do the same thing on the other side. Just check it to make sure that we're talking the same. And you put a dot right there. Now, you have a dot here and a dot there. You also, we drew this in, but just to make sure it's correct, um, we also have the center line going right through here, which we established already. So I'm going to ask you to come in and lay one of your millimeter or centimeter, I should say, marks, the bigger ones right on the center line and make sure your dots are right at the top of the ruler on each side and draw a line right across lightly and you want to take it out to the end so that you can see where it goes okay and where we had the eye center line where we went through horizontally on the eyes i'm going to ask you to do the same thing I'm going to ask you to line it up, make sure it's perpendicular, same way with this line down here. This should be perp this line should be perpendicular to this center line. Okay? So we're coming up on this one now, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get this in line. Like so. And I'm trying to get it in this line of action going through the little roller. And then at the top here, I'm drawing that line out to the edge lightly. Again, take it out to the edge. Now, 
So we should have two lines going through the bottom here and through the eye up here. Now, what I'm gonna ask you to do is get that line and turn the corner and come straight back and draw a line back, okay? And make sure it's in the same plane. So when you're looking down the edge of your ruler, this is going straight back, okay? It's almost like you're turning it right around on that corner, okay? And make sure everything's in that same plane when you look down the ruler, this line and this line going back are all in the same plane. And I'm gonna ask you to do it on the other side. Okay, so I'm extending, the, it's almost as if like we're cutting this right in half. Yeah, we're splitting right down there. So once we establish that, then I wanna do the exact same thing down here. We got this line coming across. I want you to basically parallel this one but down here and just take this out too, like that. And I want you to do it on this side and take it out too, okay? And uh, maybe one way you can do it too, let's see if I can nail this down, yeah. From this center line down to here, we know it's 15 millimeters. So if you measure from this line 15 millimeters should be right down here. So, and remember, we had a center line going up the body here, which is where your, uh, what's the name? Uh, feather lines were. We, we, had, we established, even from the tail up, we had a center line going right on up. So you can keep that too. That, we're gonna reference that. But you wanna draw it so it goes past that center line in the same way this way. And the same way on this side, you had a center line that came up from the bottom, came up, and then you're drawing this line out. And let's see if I have this correct. I'm going to look at it, and it should be 15 millimeters down, which I'm not right there. I should have come out more. See, so that's a good check. You can measure as the way the crow flies, not the way the roll is here. You wanna be, make sure that you're not laying it down, but you're measuring from the line, even though this has got a bump in here. You wanna go from, <coughs> excuse me, from the line going through the eye down, and that dot that I have there is more correct, okay? So we have these lines extending beyond on, the, on this side here. And what we're trying to do is establish a boundary. See, this area here which of the face actually drops back, and I have to give you a boundary of how far back we have to go to, to accomplish that. This, this has a, a very concave vent, uh, face. If you look at this one, the, the, the beak is up here and we're gonna hollow out all of this to get this recess. So you can see this really comes back from the top here, back. <coughs> so we're gonna try to create this. So this is what I'm trying to do right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to uh, now, let's see. The other thing I want to establish is we want to come off of here. We, and, and I don't know how many of you did it. We, I asked you to come off the beak here and then come over and what I'm going to try to do is come right across the top of the eye here, almost like parallel to this line up here, though, and then come over and turn, okay? 
And I'm going to ask you to do it on the, the other side here, too. So you're coming up here. You're riding along the top of the eye. And then you're coming almost straight over and then turning up. Okay. <coughs> and they look, should look similar on both sides. Okay. So you're riding across the top and then this is dropping down. Now, <coughs> I, sorry, I'm gonna, let me get a drink here. <coughs> I'm choking away here. Now, the other thing I want to do is we have the center line coming up on the back. This is now. That's this view right here. You have a center line that goes right on up. Well, I want you to come back about two millimeters on the eye center line that goes around the corner here. And, and mark out two millimeters, okay, from here going towards the eye. That's the center line of the body to this, on that center line of the eye, two millimeters over, put a dot. Then what we're going to do is I also want to come up here on the top of the head and you have a line here that's coming up. I'm going to ask you to come over two millimeters there. And that's where this tuft is going to go that we have, which is this here. And it comes back here. I'm going to try to draw this in or at least give you some boundaries so we don't whack away on it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Uh, use this as my limit of how far back this tuff has to go. So this tuff is two millimeters off the center line. So I'm starting, I'm going to pull this in like this. Let's see how far in I come. Just to give you an idea here. I've done this on another one, so I'm trying to uh, reinforce... Okay, it looks like five millimeters. So from this center line on the back, I'm going to come over five millimeters. And that's where this is coming down. And then this will actually turn around and come down this way, which is this tuft in here. We, we want to just preserve that area. So you're going to be... At the top here, two millimeters over, like this one, you're coming around here. Your tuff is going to come round it, round over here, come down. And uh, at this point here, and I don't know if I established that yet. Let me give you that measurement, too. From the top of the tuff down, it looks like it's... 15 millimeters down and it should line up with this but we'll check it 15 millimeters down is where this is going to come down to but it's got to be five millimeters off of the center line okay so it's from the top down to 15 which should hit that spot right there and then what I'm going to do where we came across the eye here, I'm going to join all the way over to here. So I'm not really worried about this upper part. So actually, this is coming across the eye, turning, coming back, and turning up. And if I could show you how that looks somewhat, it's like this, it's, we're, we're trying to develop this right here. I'm not worried about this inside, it's this outside here. We're coming around here across the brow and down, and that's what we're trying to develop. I don't know if you can see that that well, 
I don't have a naked one, but uh, I, I do have a finished one. And I could bring that into the picture too. I don't know if that's gonna help any. But here's what I'm talking about. Here's that coming across the brow, it turns, and we will develop this later, but I gotta give you boundaries so that we get this scooped out area correct, okay? So bear with me a second here. So we get that marked out. So this comes up, over, back. We, we came out five millimeters is where it starts turning up and it's, and it goes up two millimeters off the center line. It's five millimeters down here and two millimeters up here, and then it turns, okay? And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So we're reinforcing exactly what we did. We came across here. So we came right across. And at this point here, we're talking about 15 millimeters down. So I'm putting, taking a measurement of 15 millimeters right there. And we, we take the center line. I'm gonna draw this freehand, but I'll get close. And then I'm gonna come out two millimeters here. So, and then at the 15 millimeters down, we came over five. So trying to give you some boundaries to where we're going here. So this is taking shape like this. This tuft is gonna come around and down to the five millimeters like this. And then we're gonna come straight across. Like this is gonna roll right into that. So this is a little misleading now. I'm gonna just, so this is actually coming across and going back, okay? We did have some pencil work showing when I cut this blank out that this is what the front looks like with the tough. But right now I'm just putting boundaries in there that we don't want to go into this area or this area. We're undercutting below that. Now, we also have from the center line back, we want to come back uh, two millimeters here, same way well, like we did here. Uh, and that's another boundary that we want. And we want to do this at the, at the five millimeter mark here. Now follow me. We remember we came down 15, went over five. What I'm going to ask you to do is from here, I'm going to make an arc. See this swing right in here? I'm going to create that on a side view. And what I mean by that is, when you look at this owl on the side, it, it, this comes in from what would be like this flat plane that we have here now, and we gotta come back here. So we're, we're setting this arc up all the way around. So let me show you how it goes. So we came down 15, went over five, and we're starting right there, and I'm gonna swing an arc down to that two millimeters off the center line of the eye, and then I'm gonna swing an arc, and a pretty good one here, it's almost like a circle, a quarter of a circle down to there, and that'll be like, this will be like the tangent point right here. And this here that we were looking in on is what it's going to end up when we shape this. But we got to come back to this, this far back. And, and it's hard to believe, but that's the way it goes. Okay, here we are on this side. 15 down, 5 over. 
we start our arc there. We come out and we hit the two millimeter with the arc. And then from here to here, it's almost like from the distance from here to here, you're doing like, uh, a, like a circle, uh, a quarter of the circle, okay? So you're getting a nice swing. And uh, this is the tangent point, and then this will just cruise right on over. So I think we got everything straightened out now that we need to do. Uh, for those, I'm just gonna, let me get my sheet here. For those who were uh, putting this together, uh, I was trying to uh, nail down uh, the 15 from the center of the eye down. Uh, these are all millimeters, as I'm saying, okay? You need to make sure that that's correct first before you start making these lines and everything else. And make sure your center lines are pretty good and everything's true. And you can always get a ruler and lay it on there, you know, to make sure that you've got a nice straight line. And if you're not sure that you're per perpendicular or not, you can lay like a hard ruler in and see if you're making a 90 with the ruler, because these are usually 90 degrees. You can put it up there and you can see if your vertical line is vertical and your horizontal line is horizontal and you're making 90s on any of the quadrants, like this is like a crosshair, right, through the eyes here. And uh, you can check it that way too. And, and especially when you come back, remember I said you can measure down from the center of the eye on here as the way the crow flies, and it's gonna be 15 millimeters down. So you, you don't get a wrap around. You wanna lay it there and measure down 15, put a dot then you can continue that line over. Okay, so I want to try to get this all mapped out. And then uh, what we'll do on the next one, I'm going to next video because this gets a little lengthy at times. I'm going to come in and I'm going to excavate this out so that you can see how that's done. And I want to take you, oh, one other dimension too. Glad, glad I got into that. Uh, there's one more dimension I want you to put, and we're going to actually do it below the face here. This what I call the facial area right in here. I'm going to come down on the center line. The center line is here, and I'm going to lay my millimeter, and I'm going to come out 15 millimeters and put put a dot there. Then I'm going to run a parallel line. And if you want, you can also measure it from the eye center line, you know, that line going through the eye. I can lay it here and measure it over here and put that. So I got a line here and a line here. You can lay your ruler there and you can draw that as a reference line. This may get lost. So the reason why I'm doing it off the face and down here is in case we grind some of this away, you can always come back and put it in again. And the same way with this center line of the eye, you can take it past here because we're going to stay and grind everything in this area, okay? And if we happen to lose uh, a line, like the center line of the eye or something like that, you can always find it from, this will still be here and this will be out here and the same way over here. We want to take this and move it just beyond, okay? And we're, we're gonna excavate out in between. So you wanna come back 15 millimeters, both here and up on the center of the eye, and then draw a straight line, which is parallel in the center line here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna come down. Let's see how I did that. You can forget. I'm gonna come on the center line I'm going to come out 15 millimeters and I'm going to come up here 15 millimeters and I'm going to draw, I'm going to try to draw a straight line, okay? 
and that'll be down here. So if I excavate out here, I still have that reference there. So, and I'll tell you what this is going to be. This eye is in so far. From the face back to here, that's where I want that eye to land, where we would put a glass eye in the hole when we eventually get there. But the rest of the eye is still going to drift even further back, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Here is one of the owls with the eyes in it. So, we are 15 millimeters from here, which, well, I'll take, take it back. There's like a center line here. You got to imagine that. So, 15 millimeters takes you to the back of the eye here. So, that, I need to know where that is. And then, if you notice, all this back in here, it even goes back further. So, we, we, we have a good amount that has to come out of here. It's not totally a 15. Actually, from the back of the eye to here is like 13 millimeters because we came in 2 millimeters. This overall was 15 so uh, the eye is going to be at a certain depth and the face still slants in more, okay, to, to get all the way back to here. I hope I'm explaining this correctly. Uh, but I want you to get all these just right so that when we do start excavating out, you have all these markings in here and uh, we'll uh, try to get you. It gets a little complicated to a point, but uh, you're you're going to see it. it. It'll come together. This is the only way to do it. it you know, you could freelance this, but then you're never going to have everything exact. And one thing I try to do, if you're looking for the detail and getting things correct, because you don't want to get one eye up, one eye down, one eye too far back and the other one too far forward, I'm going to nail you right where it should be. Okay, I'm going to get you to exactly as uh, I want you to get there. It's going to look a little distorted when we first start, but you'll see it'll come together. It's just like the body, you know, the body, the, when we round it over, it, it, it looks a little complicated until you get it rounded. Then that starts taking shape. Then when we get the face shaped, then we, we start excavating that out after we get that all marked out. And then uh, after that, it's, it's going to be feathering. And, and I'll show you how to do that. So, But uh, I, I want to make everything pretty precise on the measurements so that you can follow. Uh, and then we'll start creating the face. So on the next video, we'll start excavating this out. But I want to make sure you have all these markings on here and the limitations. Just remember, when we came off the beak, we came to the, almost to the top of the head. It looks like it's just slightly going to come across straight almost and then slightly turn at the end here, okay? And, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to meet up with this guy over here and the uh, same way on this side here too. So this, and we'll develop this more because in some cases, uh, depending, if you take too much out, uh, you can get some putty uh, like quick wood and put it in. But I'm trying to really keep you precise so you don't mess things up. And we could just keep on just motoring, you know what I mean, along the way and not get you so screwed up. Uh, if you have any questions about what I've done, definitely uh, contact me through my uh, uh email uh, in my uh, comments section of the video. And uh, if you uh, ever need anything, I have catalogs available. I also sell the kits uh, that have the feet, the eyes, uh, for any of the products I have online as far as the videos go. And uh, if you need any of the power tools or the bits, let me know and I'll try to get them out to you. I, I can send a catalog out if you contact me. And it's uh, the 
the email address is uh, uh, Frank at gmail.com. Uh, oh, excuse me, rousherfrank7 at gmail.com. So uh, I hope to see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed what you learned so far. If you did, if you would give me a thumbs up. And then uh, uh, if you can also, uh, if you have friends that may want to try something like this or one of my other birds that I did or an animal or something like that, have them contact me or if you can put them on to my site. Uh, I, I'd appreciate that greatly because it helps me grow and uh, that's what I'm trying to do and uh, uh, appreciate everything uh, that uh, everybody has said in their comments that they gave me before. I really appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions, hey, fire away and I'll gladly uh, try to get to you. If you have pictures of what you're doing, and, and you can send them to me. Uh, I'll, I'll gladly look at them and try to see what we can do for you, uh, the, make some comments to take care of things for you. And I thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video, and we will start excavating the face. <laughs>